Hey, I'm Lucas Foote here with our 3 d Team Redux, and right now we're going to demonstrate one of our intake mechanisms. So this should allow us to get a cone from just about any orientation into our trough in one of three orientations uh, from which a gripper can take it and place it wherever we want. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Stryker is one of the world-leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for FIRST students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash FIRST. So uh, the, the mechanism consists of two uh, rollers or sets of wheels that will uh, take a cone and drag it into this kind of funnel shape and the uh, funnel is designed that if it spits it out it's either point forward point backwards or probably not standing up but if we're lucky maybe and as you can see it works from just about any orientation uh, due to both the nature of the wheels spinning as they kind of put it point forward or backwards and also the funnel which helps straighten it Um, one of the other features that this has is a bar in front of the top uh, roller or set of wheels, which if a cone is standing up, it will knock it down, uh, as this design works best if a cone is already knocked down, uh, point first or point backwards or whichever. Um, yeah, so we're, we're just continuing to demonstrate the multiple possible angles that this can be taken from. Uh, And as you can see, it launches it with quite some force uh, when the, the drills are connected. And once these are actually motors, it should be uh, much less finicky. So this design is something that's probably viable for your team if you have these kind of compliant wheels or some kind of compliant roller. However, due to the large number of wheels, it could be a potential budget concern as each of these is maybe 8 to $12 from Andy Mark, and so uh, uh, you could p probably find alternatives that are also as grippy, if not necessarily as compliant. Uh, we just tested a cube as well, and it works just fine to place it in the same orientation for our gripper to be able to reach in and get it. So some next steps that we're gonna take on this, because I think this is uh, a good design that we're willing to productionize on one of our two robot chassis, is uh, we're going to obviously mount motors to this, uh, making sure that it's either one motor that has a way to reverse so that the two uh, rollers are spinning opposite or two motors just so that they get a bit more power and don't get bogged down. Um, and then we want to mount this on some kind of arm that can come down from our starting position over our bumper uh, and then make sure we have a uh, polycarb or something trough in our robot that can be easily interacted with with our gripper arm to come later. Uh, as far as structural stability, I think this is, uh, it's, it's not bad. Um, we might add a few more cross members, uh, but it, it's not bending around too much. Uh, and as long as the robot base is steady, I think that all the compliance is just in the wheels, which is what we want. Uh, because we don't want the structure flexing and giving us unpredictable results. Uh, thanks for watching, and make sure to check out our other uh, RI3D Redux videos on the fun YouTube channel. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Stryker is one of the world-leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. SolidWorks is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SolidWorks to design great products. SolidWorks can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SolidWorks.com slash FIRST to register your team. Thank you to all of our suppliers and sponsors for the Robot in Three Days Redux and Kettering Bulldogs programs.